2017 Porsche Panamera Force Diesel UK Review From 59,746 pounds 9. Point. Combining prodigious thrust with livable fuel consumption, the Porsche Panamera Force Diesel is a very tempting package. What is it? Until the Panamera e-hybrid arrives later in the year, the Force Diesel is the fuel-sipping economy champion of Porsche's brand new Super Saloon range. Of course, these things are relative, you're not going to find a 2.0-liter 4-pot oil burner under the bonnet. In fact, you get twice as much capacity and twice as many cylinders a 3,956 cubic centimeters twin turbocharged V8 with variable turbine geometry, VTG. The headline numbers are an impressive 416 bhp and a staggering 627 ib feet of torque. Thanks to those clever VTG snails, you only need 1000 rpm on the dial to get all that twist. A brand new 8-speed PDK gearbox sends power to all four wheels. Underneath is a new mixed material MSB platform that will also be used for the next-gen Bentley Continental GT. This is not only more rigid, but is also usefully lighter to boot. Optional extras include a new three-chamber air suspension, all-wheel steer, and a clever cruise control system that takes into account speed limits, bends and inclines to provide the most efficient cross-country transit. What's it like? That MSB platform may have trimmed a few kilos from the curb weight, but the Panamera is still a hefty piece of kit. Regardless, the Force Diesel is capable of building speed like few other four-doors. It never feels quite as fast as it actually is a trait shared with every other model in the range. But still, few cars could keep up with a Force Diesel driven hard. While the massive reserves of torque allow rapid acceleration, they also make for effortlessly relaxed cruising. Driven sensibly in normal traffic conditions, we were amazed at how often the V8 was spinning at 1000 RPM or less. In those situations, the engine is barely audible although a little tickle does reveal a slightly gritty, diesel edge. At least it's unmistakably a V8 when you squeeze it harder. More relevant in the real world is the economy the Force Diesel is capable of. With plenty of self-restraint and a light right foot, you'll be able to get more than 30 mpg. Enjoy yourself a little, and this soon drops into the 20s. Not only does the new box allow hushed progress, it also offers buttery shifts while mooching and exceedingly swift ones when you're in one of the racier modes. Even mashing the throttle unexpectedly in normal didn't phase it, the transmission just drops a brace of ratios without fuss. To avoid vaporizing your rear tires regularly, this engine only comes with a rear-biased all-wheel drive system. Unlike nose-led rivals from within the group, yes, we're looking at you Audi, the Panamera feels much less keen to send drive to the front wheels. With the stability control in sport or off, the rear axle can be made to step out in an entertainingly controlled manner. Drive is soon shuffled to the front tires to help pull you out, but not before a big silly grin has been plastered over your face. You certainly know when torque reaches the front axle with the steering against the lock stops. Pulling out of a turning briskly, the steering starts to unwind itself hard as soon as the torque hits. It's not something you're likely to experience much, but it is off-putting. If you're hoping this means you'll be feeling subtle messages through the rim, forget it. While there is enough information to confidently know what the nose is up to and good waiting, more subtle messages are filtered out. Even so, the way the Panamera can completely obliterate a road is nothing sort of sensational. The optional air suspension may give a soothing ride in comfort mode, but it gets more agile and progressively better at resisting roll as you switch up to Sport and then Sport Plus modes. Unlike many similar systems, the Panamera never becomes bouncy or uncomfortable, even over a particularly scabby stretch of B-Road. Even potholes and expansion joints fail to make the suspension crash, thump, or feel out of its depth. Naturally, 
an S class or 7 series is even more cosseting regardless of mode, but then neither can get around a corner anywhere near as competently. Moving inside, there's been something of a revolution. Although you still get the traditional analog rev counter in the center of the instrument cluster, a pair of configurable 7.0 in screens now flanks it. There are elements of Audi's virtual cockpit, although, to be honest, it can't quite match that system's adaptability and ease of use. In the center of the dash is a large 12.3 in touch screen to control the PCM infotainment system. It looks good, but can lag slightly when you zoom in or twist a Google map view of your surroundings and some of the icons are a touch small. We also found that the steering wheel obstructed the left-hand side of the display if you're particularly short. This touch screen now controls a lot more, removing many of the buttons from the gear stick area. There's also a touch-sensitive black panel that controls items such as the suspension, heated seats, and screen demi stirs. It certainly looks much cleaner and more futuristic, but it can be tricky to find the function you need without diverting your attention from the road. As for practicality, you can now easily squeeze four six-foot adults inside along with their suitcases. Should I buy one? If you're in the market for a big, comfy limo, then the Panamera probably isn't for you. Look at it as a four-door GT car, however, and we'd argue that there are few cars with such a broad range of capabilities. No one could ever say it was uncomfortable, yet it can demolish a winding road with consummate ease. While the potential economy, and more to the point, 600 plus mile cruising range, makes the Force Diesel seem like the best version in the range, we would seriously consider the cheaper petrol Force. Not only is it a little faster, its lighter engine allows it to handle even more sharply. Besides, if you're spending around 90,000 pounds on a new Porsche, fuel economy is unlikely to be your first concern. 2017 Porsche Panamera Force Diesel Location, West Sussex, on sale, November, price, £91,788, engine, V8, 3,956 cubic centimeters, twin turbocharged, diesel, power, 416 bhp at 3500-5000 rpm. Torque, 627 pounds foot at 130250 rpm. Gearbox, 8-speed dual clutch automatic. Curb weight, 2050 kilograms, top speed, 177 miles per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.5 SEC, 4.3 SEC with launch control, economy, 42.2 mpg, combined, CO2 slash tax band, 176 G slash KM, 35%. Rivals, BMW 640D Grand Coupe, Tesla Model S.